But we begin with our big story tonight in Milwaukee. It's not just parking enforcement keeping an eye on your car. Madeline O'Neill live downtown in uh, the north side of Milwaukee where new technology has potential to change how we park and maybe what we can get away with. Yeah, Tata Mary, you know how great it can be to find a parking spot with a meter with some time left on it. It's a simple things, right? But this technology has the potential to take that away. Now, it doesn't mean it will do that for sure. And it can also help drivers find parking spots even when they're not on the road. But I'll show you what we're talking about here. This is just part of a pilot project. See this black box? You can find a number of these here just on the 700 block of North Milwaukee on both signposts and meters. They are via vehicle detection sensors. They give the city real-time information about parking availability, and they have the potential to do a whole lot more. Finding a parking spot downtown. Stressful sometimes. Can take a toll even before you pay, and even once you put it in park. Technology keeps moving forward. It's definitely getting more advanced. I think the more technology, the better. There's no avoiding it. Though you may not have noticed these new black boxes on meters and signposts yet. I've not seen those. They'll be able to see you, or at least your car. They're vehicle detection sensors made by West Allis company Civic Smart. According to Civic Smart's website, the sensors can monitor where cars are parking, show available parking spaces on apps, and offer on street parking reservations. The sensors can also show when cars are parked without paying, allow variable pricing depending on demand, and increase money the city brings in by resetting meter time to zero when a car leaves. It sounds interesting in the fact that it allows people to see uh, what parking spots are open and what aren't. If it clears the meter after someone leaves, that might be a little like, questionable just because like, it's always a win to uh, like, not have to pay for it. Despite all those potential uses, the city isn't there yet. A spokesperson for the Department of Public Works says the only goals with the pilot project now are to see how accurate the sensors are and gather real-time information on the availability of parking. I think it's useful for the city to know when and where people are parking. Anything beyond that, and we'll have to wait and see what happens down the road. Now, right now, you can only find these sensors here on the 700 block of North Milwaukee. But DPW tells me that they plan to install about 75 in several areas around the city during this first part of the pilot project. With the next phase, they could add up to 125 more. They cost about $245 each. The city says they have a deal, so they're paying about a third of that for each sensor. For now, live in downtown Milwaukee, Madeline O'Neill, Fox 6 News. Maddie, thank you. And up